Welcome to the calibration and app setup video for the Quark Shockwiz. For this process, you will need a smartphone with the Shockwiz app and a shock pump. For video instructions on how to properly install Shockwiz to your fork or shock, click this link. Go to shockwiz.com for more information. To begin, wake the device by cycling the fork or shock two to three times. The device's LED will flash, indicating it is awake. Make sure Bluetooth is activated on your smartphone and then open the Shockwiz app. From the home screen, select Connect. A list of devices will appear. For first time use, the device name will appear as Shockwiz underscore serial number. The serial number for your Shockwiz is printed on the back of the device. Select your Shockwiz from the list. The app will return to the home screen and begin displaying information from the device. Select the connected device and then select Rename. Give your Shockwiz a name that will be easily identifiable. Press OK and then return to the home screen. On the home screen, select Air Pressure. This menu allows you to select the unit of measurement in which data will be displayed. Next, select the altitude range that corresponds with your writing location. Select Done to return to the home screen. Shockwiz must be calibrated to the suspension fork or shock before use. During the calibration process, you will set the compression ratio and baseline air pressure which Shockwiz uses to map the suspension's movement. Select Settings, then Calibration Wizard. The wizard will guide you step by step through the process. As you follow the steps in the Calibration Wizard, you will be instructed to perform some actions on the fork or shock that are very important to Shockwiz receiving accurate readings from your suspension. Removing air cycling the suspension, fully extending the suspension, fully compressing the suspension, and adding air. When the calibration wizard instructs you to remove air from your fork or shock, remove the unused air cap from Shockwiz and use a small hex wrench to depress the Schrader valve. Do not remove the Shockwiz hose. When instructed to cycle the suspension, pull the fork or shock to full extension by holding the tire to the ground and pulling up on the stem or frame. Next, compress it to at least 50% of the travel, then pull back again to full extension. Repeat these steps three to five times to equalize pressure in the shock or fork. For steps instructing you to hold the fork or shock at full extension, hold the tire to the ground and pull up on the stem or frame. For some fork or shock models, it may require significant effort to hold the suspension in the fully extended position. When instructed to hold the fork or shock at full compression, press down on the handlebars or frame, using your body weight to reach full bottom out. When the wizard instructs to inflate, attach a shock pump to the unused air valve on Shockwiz and inflate the air spring. For an initial starting pressure, See the manufacturer's air pressure chart. If an error in measurement is detected during the calibration process, a notification will appear. The app will return you to the step or steps that need to be repeated. Once the final calibration measurement is taken, the app will display a completion screen. Take a screenshot for future reference. If shock travel displayed exceeds 3%, the mark baseline air pressure process must be repeated by going into the settings menu. To check that Shockwiz is functioning properly, lightly cycle the suspension. The live travel percentage value will increase and decrease as you do this. The reading may not be at 0% when the bicycle is idle. This is normal. On the home screen, select tuning style. Each tuning style can be used on any terrain and with any length travel bike. Experiment with different tuning styles to determine what suits your riding. The app and the device are now set up. Before going for your first ride, 
Select Start New Session to clear the device of any data it may have captured during the calibration and setup process. Selecting Start New Session resets the ShockWiz recommendation engine and clears all current suggestions. You are now ready to ride. This completes the calibration and app setup process for the Quark ShockWiz.